friends, Logan Wells here with Dream Guitars, and I'm often asked, you know, what's like the perfect guitar? And I always say, the perfect guitar doesn't exist. And then there are moments where I play an instrument like this, George McConnell, and I figure, okay, maybe the perfect guitar does exist, um, or at least it can, right? So this is a 2016 16-inch um, model from George McConnell, and boy, oh boy, is this a lifetime guitar. This is an heirloom instrument. Um, every, you know, every day of the week, frankly. It's Brazilian rosewood for the back and sides, it's moon spruce on top, it's multi-scale, um, it's got a rosewood neck with an oil finish to it. It's just perfect. Um, it's a, a complete instrument. I play this guitar and I get sucked into that sound hole and I wake up two days later with blinking eyes kind of thing. It's just an engrossing instrument. I really love this guitar. And Jordan, of course, appointed it fantastically beautifully. Um, with his motifs here at the head plate and the back plate. Um, we have this braided thing here going on with the rosette and his carved bridge, which are so good. And this is also McConnell that's been played in a lot. Um, it's got a couple of marks on it from, you know, some good earnest play. And the voice has that, um, that opened up, played in quality too. So it really, you know, this McConnell stands out to me as um, a particularly great example from a particularly great builder. So yeah. Go ahead and get into it for a bit. Moon Spruce on top, and we have a Brazilian Rosewood Bridge, which since this, since this is a multi-scale guitar, um, the bridge has been re-engineered uh, a little bit to account for that, that different saddle position. And I love how he does that. Um, all this carving detail, very smooth, very clean, and not very easy to do. Ditto for the braiding here at the rosette. Like, a lot of work goes into that, and it just looks great. Even his labels inside, like if you, if you check out the photos and you know can get a good photo of that label, it's gorgeous, I love what he does with that. Um, yeah, every single detail. <laughs> so, Brazilian rosewood, like I said, for the back and sides. Um, you know, straight grain set here. You'll notice there's a strap button here. Um, we also have a uh, end pins you can strap up into this one. And here's the back. Uh, set of Brazilian, which is again very straight, paintbrush straight stuff. Um, a little bit of figuring, but otherwise it's a you know understated <laughs> um, nice set of brass. Ah, they don't make it like this anymore. Um, so as we go up the neck, it feels again. I'm going to say it. Perfect. Uh, it's a rosewood neck. Uh, it's fairly full in in hand. It's just the right amount of full. Uh, my hand feels perfectly supported um, from fret one to fourteen and on. Just really good. And that oil finish, you can see kind of how the grain kind of comes through a little bit, just feels perfect in hand. Um, it's not that squeakiness of like a, a gloss finish or, or anything like that. It just feels great. Um, yep. And I forget if these are Rogers or Lessie tuners, um, but they, regardless, they are very nice tuners. <laughs> they look really good too. Um, oh, my apologies. Uh, while we're on the back plate here, you'll notice we have a cool um, motif here. Um, that is continued over here with the geometric figuring, and of course we also have a little bit of a knot here as well, or a braid, sorry. The multi-scale setup is, um, I believe it's 26 and a quarter to 25 and a half. So that's that sweet spot scale length that you can play this in standard, and it's great, or you can play down in C tunings or D tunings, and it holds up just fine. Um, it's not such an advanced spread that you have to you know, change your left hand orientation at all. This guitar just feels, you know, natural in your hands. So yeah. 
Uh, so if yeah, if you want to get into you know truly a lifetime instrument, um, I would love to talk to you about this McConnell at length. Give us a shout <laughs> anytime. Cheers. Mm -hmm.